In today's video, I will be catching up with my good friend, neighbor Al, and we're gonna see how he's been doing and what he's been up to for the past couple weeks since we've seen him on the channel. It's springtime here in the Pacific Northwest, so it's a lot drier, and his property is always beautiful, but it's especially awesome during this time of the year. So we're gonna start the video with some footage that I got yesterday, and then we're gonna fast forward to today. So uh, let's jump back in time and start the video. Hey, Dip. What's up, Dip? How are you doing? How are you? How are you doing? Good, man. Good to see you. Adventure agents. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Both sporting our Adventure Agents merch today. Still got your skis out, I see. They're getting closer. They were over <laughs> here. They were here. <laughs> That's funny. Getting closer to the attic. Yeah. <laughs> oh, man. What a day. It's beautiful out here. Yeah, we've had a lot of them lately. Temperature wise, weather wise, sunny, very few clouds. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Felt like a long winter that we had. <laughs> at least it was a long winter up in my cabin. <laughs> Felt like. <laughs> yeah, pond looks very green. Yeah, I started cleaning it out. Did a little bit around the islands there, but. I'm gonna get the long rake. Get some more of that. It's watercress, and it'll take over the whole surface if we don't clean it out this time of year. What's it called? Water. Watercress. Good healthy stuff to oh. eat if you want some. Really? Yeah. What does it look like? And there's some up here that's growing up higher. Oh, that's the stuff there. That's watercress. Yeah. yeah. Edible. Yeah. It's expensive in uh, health food stores. Really? Hmm. I don't think there's much beaver poop in here right now. <laughs> I don't want to wash it first. But um, when it starts shooting up, it tastes, um, what I'm trying to think of, horseradish. Mm. It's got a little spicy to it. This is probably kind of mellow. You just mow the lawn mm, recently? Just, what day is this? Friday, I think. Worked my butt off Friday and Saturday. Yeah. I said there was rain coming. Yeah. Um, it was a long Friday, and yeah, that's the biggest load I've gotten in probably a year or so. Mm. I've already burned some of them. Unloaded some just to get some of the weight off the car. Jeez. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was up over the roof of the cab. Jeez. <laughs> so you left them long, most of yeah, them? Yeah. I was in a hurry. I wanted to get where it rained. So. Yeah. Getting logs is a lot quicker. Oh, that's a good way to go. <laughs> Stay warm for a while until summer now. Was this uh, up on the hill? It's mostly along the spring road. Oh. It goes by the top of the spring. Okay. And a lot of it right by the spring. Okay. And I bled. I knew I did that day's work. Ooh. <laughs> yeah, that's a good one. There. Yeah, it was a good one. I was pushing a big load, a big log in here. And some of these sharp sticks were sticking out over on this side. Like, oh, <laughs> dang. No bandage? No, I, I believe in fresh air. <laughs> <laughs> I did have to wear a long sleeve shirt to bed that night, though, oh. so I wouldn't get the sheets all bloody. Yeah. Because it did kind of bleed all night. Yeah. A little bit. Oof. It looks like it's healing up our pretty good. Oh, yeah. Yeah, last time I was here, Al had fixed this area of the roof because a branch had fallen right yeah came off one of these alders. big branch came down broke and he had see this piece of glass here there was another one over here they broke and all the glass shattered and it was quite a mess but it looks great now got it all up cleaned up yeah you got the sauna cabin open to air it out yeah. Both doors open. I had all this stuff out in the sun a couple of days. I don't think it smelled very moldy or anything, but just took them out in the sun anyway. And I got the covers for the windows made. Oh. Oh. I made these things. This cancellation board. Mm-hmm. And slide it in. And use the coil one for down there. Sweet. I left a tab on the top. 
when you come down to use it, we need to put in a light somehow. Okay. I used to have glass in these two things. And I think what I'll do is take uh, this one out, or maybe that one out, and, and then put a light in front of it. Hmm. It'll shine in. So that's part of my future plans, is to <laughs> use Al's sauna cabin. Get a nice hot fire going in this wood stove, use the sauna, stay the night here. I think that would be really cool. Never done it before. It's been multiple years and I still haven't made it happen. So <laughs> I gotta make it happen. Yeah, whenever you're ready, all I gotta do is vacuum, I haven't vacuumed yet. Okay. I know you like things clean. <laughs> <laughs> I've seen your videos. <laughs> you probably want to bring your own bedding anyway. Ah, uh, sleeping bag. That'd be fine. Yeah. Yep. You got all dirty. Look at you. Jeez. Where'd you go? Where'd you go? <laughs> yep, looking good around here. I still need to get that wood stove for me too. Oh, yeah. Still, uh, that's another thing on my to-do list that yep. hasn't happened yet. Just... That list is building. <laughs> <laughs> That's okay. We kind of be good to wait for until we have a, about a week of nice warm weather. Yeah. And I want to drag just about everything in there out and spread it out here and throw away the garbage and yeah. sort things out and, and okay. bring the stove out and clean it up a little bit. And yeah. They say rain toward the end of this week, so we'll wait. Mm -hmm. That's a good excuse for waiting. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so Al's got some wait, tomatoes? Yeah. Oh. Cherry tomato. Growing on the roof there. We could probably go up and do a little water anyway. I've been covering them up at night. When did you plant those? Well, it's been about a week, I guess. Okay. No, when did I go to town? Last Thursday. No, I haven't been a week yet. Mm. Looking good. Yeah, I'm healthy. Sweet 100s, my favorite kind. Sweet 100. Yeah. They're the best. Had them on sale for $1.79. That's a pretty good deal. Yeah, I got a lot of moss. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's... No, I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> the roof is old anyway. <laughs> Starts leaking and I'll replace the roof. Yeah. <laughs> Not much need for the water wheel this time of year, huh? Good thing because there's not enough water. No. Oh. <laughs> so you said when you open the chute, send water from the pond, the whole level drops a little bit, and then you just don't have enough to keep it going. Yeah. Okay. It'll quit running over. Oh. Two, where two places over there. After okay. After about an hour, it'll won't be enough to run over anymore over there. Okay, I'm good. No problem. Nice. It's been great all winter. Awesome. Have the next fall and go to use it, and that's when we'll break. When I need it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> After it's been sitting out in the sun, yeah. getting dry and brittle. <laughs> <laughs> After I finished filming the footage that you guys just saw, Al and I went inside his house and we picked up where we left off on his life story series and we talked about the 1970s. So look forward to that. That's gonna be an upcoming video. But it is now the next day, as I mentioned at the beginning of this video, and I am headed back to Al's. Now you wear your skin like our favorite one. It's When we were walking around checking out the current state of his property yesterday, he pointed out a tree in the pond that was leaning and I think he wants to take it out. But I'm pulling up right now, so let's get to it. Change your plans. Change your plans? <laughs> <laughs> it's too hot. It's too heavy logging. Okay. <laughs> too light logging. Okay. <laughs> Sorry, I don't. I got all the work emptying the pickup. Oh yeah. I love it all. Stay nice and dry. Okay. What it is. I'm loading cut in the rain under that cover. I really want to do the arbor. Oh, get that stuff out of there. And Create that. So I can do a better direct line with firewood coming down from the hill to the house. Yeah. Go around. Mm -hmm. So here's what it looks like from the other side. 
kind of hard to get through so <laughs> we're gonna go put together our materials we need some posts we need some beams we need some blocks okay everybody so i think al saw my video yeah. of me getting Sorry firewood lifting that <laughs> lifting yeah. a big round into the back of my truck He's got a tip for me, apparently. <laughs> yeah. So how do you do it, Al? First you get a, a round sitting here. Okay. Probably about half the way up to the tailgate. Okay. And then you're, this isn't really a round, but a large round will work the same. Okay. Uh, you can only pick out one end at a time. One end on there. Um. The other end up. You find up and you lean it against the tailgate. Yep. And then you pick that up and slide it in. Okay. Yeah, that makes a lot of sense. I think I'm going to have to <laughs> Saves you back. try that next time and, yeah, yeah. save my back for sure. You don't cut that many big rounds. But yeah. If you ever do again. Mm hmm. It works, works good with short logs, too. Yeah, I saw your video. <laughs> <laughs> So is your echo still starting a lot oh, better than your steel it's, did? It's awesome. Still got some. Didn't seem to use much chain oil. And there's a fire pit in there. Just inside the door too. Hmm. Metal fire pit. Mm-hmm. If you and Julia ever get up here and, and set it out there on the patio and have oh, a door fire. That would be awesome. Alright. I need to finish cleaning out that patio. So my current plan with staying the night at the sauna cabin is to spend a night myself there first. Kind of... Get the kinks worked out. Yeah, <laughs> know my way around. And then bring Julia back and uh, stay the night in there together. And then use his fire pit also. That's our... Post there. This is a good one too. It's a little thin, it's a little big here. Further up, it's just right for posts. up there. Then you can push it through. <laughs> this way. Yeah. <laughs> Al found a rope, so we're gonna try and tie a rope on it and pull it. So we got it down. It's pretty hollow on this end, but Al was knocking on it. And uh, looks like that end is gonna be pretty solid. <laughs>
Oh, that's pretty well balanced right here. <laughs> I don't really have to do anything. I didn't break the glass. <laughs> they rolled off right towards uh, that glass. <laughs> 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 Yeah, we could do that. What are you doing? Mm -hmm. so we got the first block set in place. You're just kind of scoping it out. <laughs> I was trying to figure, I'm just going to put the cross piece on the inside of the post. Maybe. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right, so we got our two posts for that end. We got two posts over here, and now we just measured what we need for that cross brace. It needs to be about eight feet, so we're gonna go cut one of those. Nice. Yeah. Oh, that would be cool. Arch. Yeah. Back down, what's up? This little groove. Yeah, that'd be a good, good place for it. If I go right above it, you go mm -hmm. right here. Mm -hmm. okay. I think we can slide this one. Rusty nails are still good for something. Oh. How good did we do, Al? <laughs> Almost <good. laughs> Okay, so yeah, if we got the option of setting on the outside or the inside. Yeah. Six feet here. Okay, six foot there. So if you go. Okay. You want to go higher with that one? <laughs> That's 51 right there.
So you're thinking, kind of cut those out 15 foot, prop it up over there, nail it in yeah, place. Yeah, the there's that it's in on the ground. Uh -huh. Okay. Roger that. <laughs> Dipstick over there eating grass. Yeah. Probably gonna barf in a little bit. <laughs> eating salad? Yeah, gotta eat the salad. <laughs> no good luck. <laughs> So we got this side of the arch all set up and then as we walk around to the opposite side we got this set up and ready to stand up over here and what this needs to be completed is some cross beams i guess you would call them beams <laughs> one here one there that will attach the two sides of the arch and then it will lift all those up out of the way and create a path that you can walk through like it was before yeah that'd be nice to have that back yeah <laughs> But we're not going to finish it today. No. We've had enough. Yeah, we've had about <laughs> enough for the day. So, <laughs> good accomplishment though. I was oh, I'm really yeah. happy to have That's... got it that far. Oh yeah. Me too. <laughs> I'm happy. <laughs> so over here, this is the tree that I was talking about. And when we were walking around checking out the current state of his property yesterday, he pointed out a tree in the pond that was leaning and I think he wants to take it out. It's still rooted in the ground in the creek slash pond here, but it fell and it's leaning against that and Al just wants to get it out of here. So we were going to try and wrap a cable on and strap it to the truck and do, I don't know what we were going to do. <laughs> <laughs> See what happens. Yeah. Hold on. <laughs> but that's another future project here. Yeah. Cooler day. Yeah. A whole bunch of trees down over there that... Oh I want yeah. To get across sometime. Yeah. Got a bunch up. Somewhere. <laughs> That's a pile of logs there somewhere. What's up, everybody? Abrupt jump in time. It's now been a few days since I was at Al's house, and shortly after, Al and I finished hanging out that day, and we almost finished that arbor setup. Didn't quite get there. I've talked about this before in previous videos, but uh, patience is a big thing that I've learned from Al. You know, some things in life are on a deadline and you gotta get them done. But I think a lot of people, including myself, get wrapped up in that, in our day-to-day -day life, in our jobs and stuff. It's like, oh, I'm right, I, I gotta get this done, gotta get it done. But then when it comes to things like this, where it's like, you know, it's not the most important thing in the world. <laughs> you still bring that mentality to everything that you do. And so I do that all the time. Where it's like, man, I started this. I got to get it done. We just, you know, still got daylight, still dry outside. Let's go, go, go. And, uh, you know, we stop to take that break and just take a breather, get a drink of water. I like that approach to these types of projects, not being so concerned about, you know, breaking yourself just to finish this thing and then having no energy left for other sometimes more important things like the relationships that you have with people in your life. Immediately after Al and I wrapped things up at his house, we drove down the road and visited with his next door neighbors, the South family, who you guys probably know. And I didn't film any of that process because I hadn't seen him in a long time. And you know, sometimes it's nice to interact with your friends and fellow humans without having a camera in everybody's face. So that was really nice. And I got to meet a baby maple for the first time. So that was really, really great. She is super cute. And I got to see the whole South family again. And I got to reunite with Faven, my old pal, my old adventure buddy. So that was really awesome. And it was great to see all of them and, and visit with them and Al and just share stories. And, you know, we talked for a little while and it was great to catch up. And, you know, had we focused on fin finishing that whole arbor setup, we would have probably been working, well, I don't know, but either we would have been working till the sun went down or we would have been so tired that I just would have left and went back to the cabin and that whole thing wouldn't have happened. And, uh, you know, Patrick was working, Patrick and Sarah were working on their new additions that they're working on at their house. And by Al and I, going to their house, we kind of imposed on the progress that they were making on that project. But 
we created this opportunity for that whole conversation and for them to pause, for Al and I to pause and just come together and share an interaction and the whole catch up. Uh, so that was really, really nice. And I'm so glad that happened and I can't wait for it to happen again in the future now that the South family is back in Washington. I've been working with them on a project and we got more projects coming up involving excavation. So I'm really excited to share that video with you, but it's gonna be over a long period of time. We started it during the rainy season and I'm waiting for the grass to grow um, to finish sharing that so it can be like this whole beginning to end story. And then I'm gonna do more excavation with them. So super excited to share that. So you may be wondering, what the heck am I doing in this room right now? Where am I? <laughs> I am at my dad's house near Seattle, Washington because I'm going to be flying away from here, from the Seattle airport to Texas to attend a graduation ceremony for my stepbrother, Mateo, who I mentioned several weeks ago that I was going to share a video that we made when he visited me during spring break. And I haven't shared that yet because I wanted to wait until his graduation that I am going to attend two days from now because I wanna record that and use that in that video. So that's the reason that I haven't shared that. And somebody commented and said, hey man, you gotta drop the step from brother and just call him your brother. And I actually really like that comment and I wanna start doing that. So Mateo is my brother, just like Al is my brother, just like Patrick is my brother. I agree with that sentiment and I, I like that. So I need to drop the step. I, say that just because it's you know he's not directly we don't have the same parents but i'm trying to make sense like be honest but i get what you're getting that by leaving that comment and i agree with you so my brother mateo is graduating and i'm excited to share that with you excited to share the excavation videos excited to share the video about Al's life in the 1970s. And then all the other videos that I'm talking about will be the following weeks. And then hopefully soon, like I said, like you saw, the weather here in Washington is getting better. And I hope to start building my woodshed very soon. I want, that's what I really want to do is build a woodshed, but life is busy. There's more important things and the woodshed is gonna happen eventually. And I'm really excited to make that video. I'm excited to build the woodshed and make the video. And those type, that's like, that's what makes me super excited. You know, I like making videos with other people. I like spending time with other people, but I really like those like solo building uh, videos. Those are, that's, you know, that's kind of the roots of this channel. So I like that and I'm looking forward to that. Thank you guys for watching. Sorry for rambling. This was a shorter video and then I made it longer. Uh, maybe I just need to stop apologizing for doing that. That's just like a normal thing. So, uh, Thanks, see you guys on the next one, bye.